August 20th, 1847. The Patricios take up positions. Tonight, the last night before the last day. The 1,400 soldados must hold the monastery at Churubusco, defend it to the death, to buy time for the Mexican army to regroup and defend Mexico City. It is the last stand for Los San Patricios in a war that can no longer be won, but a war they must fight. Little Known Legends, Episode 7, Bienvenidos, Compañeros. Churubusco. It's a funny word in my mouth. Funny name for a monastery. Churubusco. Es una palabra náhuatl. Churubusco significa la casa de los dioses de la guerra. The house of the war gods. Worst places for us to be right now. Assuming they're on our side. If Santana can't stop the Yanks at Piderna, they'll push right through here, I imagine. Straight for us over that bridge. So we gotta keep it, no matter what. That'll be a bloody fight for sure. Think the priest will come by and say mass before the fighting starts? I hope so. Well, it'll help to have a few sins as we can ask for forgiveness. Here, take a sip of this. <laughs> what is it? Hey, pulque! <laughs> this stuff was tough to drink at first, but I've grown to like it. Me too. I'm working on it. What shall I drink to? To Capitan Flores. Capitan, Capitan Flores. Flores. Una bendición. Hold on to what is good, even if it is a handful of earth. Hold on to what you believe, even if it is a tree which stands by itself. Hold on to life, even when it is easier letting go. Hold on to my hand, even when I have gone away. <clears throat> Salud. That's some pretty good English you got there. I have been listening. John Coral, ahora tú. Ah, uh, that's tough stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, not that I have much to compare it to, anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, I always liked Irish whiskey, though. Mountain Dew, he called it. Tried it a little. That was back when I lived on the farm. I'd say Donegal Town. It's strange, isn't it? How your mind plays with you. When I left Ireland, I promised I'd return. And in New York, all through Texas, even Monterey and Buena Vista. I dreamed of the old country and making my way back there one day. These last few months, I, I've been trying to picture it, but I can't do it. I can barely remember what my man and dad looked like, if I'm being honest. But right now, drinking this pulque, I can close my eyes and I swear I can feel the salty breeze on my cheeks. Blowing in from the sea across those green hills. That's the Aaron of your memory. The home that once was. The people that were once there. Pretty, but it's not real, is it? But this right here is all too real. Me, Yautl Santiago, John Cuttle. And I'm happy to be here, all things considered, with all of you. In this place, fighting for this home. And once all this is over, she'll be a fine place to hang our hats. Present yourselves like friends and you shall have country, home, lands. The happiness that is enjoyed in a country of mild and humane customs. <laughs> At this point, mild and humane costumes will be just fine by me. Land wouldn't be that bad. Happiness either. Or a home. Aye, that wouldn't be that bad. You are home, Lochlan O'Brien. That'll be our cue. Best get ready. I'll fetch the shot. Pagarán por cada paso que den en esta tierra. Te huele, hermano. Here they come. Attention. At noon, the U.S. forces charge toward the monastery, and the Patricios cannons tear into them. For three hours, a savage battle rages. The cannons roar. Sabers rattle. Groans of the dying echo off the walls of the sacred building. Slick with sweat and black from powder, the Patricios fire their cannons with a sniper's precision. Twice U.S. infantry rushes the bridge. Twice they are defeated. The invaders close in on the monastery from two sides. Their shells explode into the Patricios' position, shattering cannons. Fall back! Fall back! The Patricios retreat into the monastery for one last stand. 
The Yankees drive the defenders into a narrow corridor on the top floor. A Mexican soldier raises a white flag to surrender. A Patricio tears it down. Lieutenant John Riley falls wounded among a pile of bodies. Twice more the flags go up. Twice more the Patricios pull them down. Lachlan won't quit fighting. He swings the flag of the San Patricios wide, trying to hit anyone that gets close. Retreat! Retirada! Retirada! John Cuddle! You and Yao go through there. I'll cover you. John Cuddle and Yao escape through a narrow passage. Brendan and Santiago are surrounded. They keep fighting with bayonets, with fists, with feet. In the end, they're overwhelmed. Many Patricios fall at Churubusco. The flag is taken. The official Batallón de los San Patricios is no more. Pelearon en varias batallas. Monterrey, Buena Vista y Churubusco. Por eso son héroes mexicanos, mis amigos, los San Patricios. By the end of the battle, two-thirds of the San Patricios are captured or killed. The Mexican army loses over 6,000 men in total. Lachlan, Brendan, and Santiago are captured and march through the monastery, once again surrounded by the jeers and taunts of their former comrades. Over a thousand U.S. soldiers fell to Mexican bullets at Churubusco. Many of those deaths are blamed on the well-manned cannons of St. Patrick. Stand down! The Patricios are held captive in the courtyard of the monastery they fought so hard to defend. They're surrounded by dead comrades and the shadows of grim-faced guards with loaded muskets. I want you to make a move, you no-good Mick. Nothing would please me more than to put a bullet in your back. They're held there for four days. The rotten smell of death grows stronger. The anger towards them swells. On the fifth day, an officer orders them bound with ropes once used on their own cannons. They march out of Churubusco to a warehouse in the town of San Angel, where they await their fate. Read the names and charges, officer. Brendan O'Connor, desertion. John Riley, desertion. John O'Burn, desertion. Jacob Santiago O'Leary, desertion. Lachlan O'Brien, desertion. Patrick Anteson. A group of 12 officers serve as the tribunal. Many San Patricios plead for their lives, desperate to avoid the sentence that comes with a guilty verdict. But they know these pleas are as much of a farce as this trial. It doesn't take long for the court to deliberate and give their decision. Brendan O'Connor, guilty. John Riley, guilty. John O'Byrne, guilty. Jacob Santiago O'Leary, guilty. Lachlan O'Brien, guilty. 67 guilty verdicts. The orders are given. Those whom the court found guilty of desertion will hang by their necks until they are dead. You ever feel like Irish folk are destined to be on the losing side of everything? (laughs) If I'm being honest, this is not the outcome I had in mind. Damn it, if it don't make me feel like none of living is worth a thing. We're just one sentence in a big novel, kiddo. Maybe even just a word. Started long before you were born, screaming, and it'll end long after tomorrow. You can be assured of that. The way I see it, if we made things just a bit 
better by being here. Well, maybe that's all we can ask. You think that's what we done? You can hear the Yanks sing their gringo songs and see the stars and stripes wave over Mexican land. And tomorrow, it'll be all over. For us, for them, for everything. I want to believe it, but we didn't do nothing. Maybe we didn't, and maybe we did. But all the same, we got to face St. Peter. And I'm going to meet him with my head high. Knowing I finally did right in this world. And if you can find it in you to believe it, Lachlan, I think you did the same. We've got to spit in the devil's face a couple of times. That's got to be worth something, don't you think? More than your pesos prometidos. (laughs) Let's just say, I'm dying richer than I ever lived. We gave him everything we got, didn't we? That we did. That's what it's all been about. Find for a home that can take care of us. Should be the simplest thing in the world. Something that everyone gets to have. Not me, not us. Wonder why that is. They tried to take everything we had. Everything these folks here in Mexico had. And we stood up. And stared those Yanks right in the face. And we said, no. Not without a fight, you're not. We earned our spot on that gallows. And we'll die in our home. As true Irishmen. As Mexicanos. If this is how it's gonna end, I can stand up against the bloody bastards one more time. No, you won't stand alone. Juntos. 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 All things considered, it sure is nice here at night. Ah, you hear that? It'll be daybreak soon. The doves are waking up and calling to us. Fifty Irishmen. That's a lot of rope. September 13th, 1847. Only 30 members of the San Patricios remain. Lachlan, Brendan, and Santiago stand among them on wagons underneath a crude gallows. Their hands and feet are bound. Nooses made of rough rope scratch the skin on their necks. They face the rising sun in full view of Chapultepec Castle, the last stronghold of the Mexican army, where the remaining soldiers of Mexico City, many of them young cadets, defend their homeland for the final time. No more ceasefires, no more treaties. The end of the war is at hand. Sergeant! Sergeant Mahoney! Yes, sir! Sergeant, I appear to be one man short. Sir! I'm looking at my list and it says 30 men are to be hanged today. I'm looking at the gallows and I only count 29 men. Why is it that I only count 29 men? Uh, One of the traitors, sir. He's being treated by the doctor. He lost his legs, you see. So the doctor thought... No, 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 no. Bring the damn son of a bitch out. My order is to hang 30 men and by God... I'll do it. Yes, sir. Right away. Damn mosquitoes. I hate it here. The bugs. The smell. Ah, you can leave any time you like. That's some mouth you got there. Normally, I'd sew it shut. But even traitors deserve last word. Traitors? We've never been traitors. Not to the Holy Family and those that kneel before them. Not to anyone who deserves our trust. You took an oath to the United States. Desertion is treason. Disloyalty in its worst, least excusable form. Of this crime, the Battalion of St. Patrick is undeniably guilty. And the world will know. The world knows. You, Yanks, started this war for nothing more than simple greed. You burned holy churches. You shot and pillaged your way down a friendly country. All because you saw something beautiful and you can't handle it not being yours. There is no punishment too severe for traitors. Go ahead, Sergeant Mahoney. Yes, sir. Sergeant Mahoney? Patrick Mahoney, isn't it? We marched down to Fort Texas together. Plenty of Irish killing Irish these days. This guy... Looks just like another yank to me. Just another gringo. It's Fort Brown now. Not Fort Texas. They renamed it after an officer lost his life in the siege. 
the night you two snuck away. You look to be the right kind of man now. At least to them. Congratulations. You're on the winning side. Isn't that what you wanted? Paddy. My name is Patrick. The gallows are ready, sir. Excellent. Now we just watch and wait. Brendan, Lachlan, and Santiago watch as the U.S. infantry storm the castle. The fight is bloody and personal. From the gallows, they watch as wave upon wave of men in blue uniforms storm the hill. Sergeant, I want it to happen the moment their flag comes down. I want them to see it. I want you Patricios to see the moment your flag comes down. Oh, sorry, the Mexican flag. Not really yours, is it? Oh, it's ours, all right. Of all the money that e'er I had, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done, Alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit, To memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. So fill to me the parting glass and drink a health whatever befalls and gently rise and softly call good night and joy be with you all and so it ends let's go sergeant mahoney but sir the patricios Cut them down? I was ordered to have them hanged. I have no orders to unhang them. Sergeant! Mahoney! Coming, sir. The Yankee army wastes little time. By nightfall, all will be lost for the people of the city. At midnight, Yautl, John Cuddle, and a few citizens of Mexico City quietly make their way to the gallows and cut down the 30 San Patricios. But the war is over. Mexico must surrender. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo is signed. Mexico loses half of its territory, all of Alta California, renamed again by new conquerors California, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, Utah, Wyoming. Borders between the two nations are redrawn. Borders will always be redrawn. The flag of St. Patrick is forgotten. It is brought back as a trophy and hung in the chapel of West Point. It disappears, either lost or stolen. No one knows what happened to it. Some say John Riley stays in Mexico after the war. Others say he returned to Ireland. He fades into history along with the other members of Los San Patricios. 
Santiago, Capitan Flores, John Cuddle, Yautl, Brendan Lachlan. But we remember, we, the people who come from the people of this story, recordamos what it means to stand together, juntos. Juntos! Por eso son héroes mexicanos Que vivan los San Patricio Little Known Legends was produced by Radical Evolution. That's me, Maropi Peponides. And me, Beto O'Byrne. The series is directed by Kinan Valdez, with music direction by Chaz Croslin, and audio editing and sound design by Danny Perez. Lead music recording engineer is Emiliano Valdez. Performances in this episode by Katrina Valdez, Ulises de la Cruz, Shane English, Joseph Jones, Ed Malone, Tim Ruddy, John Concado, Adam Files, Eugene Negrete, and Arisael Rivera. Production coordinator is Eliza Grace Madrone. Musicians you heard in this series are Chaz Croslin, Mary Pat Farrell, Sherman Floyd, Alejandro Gomez, Julian Mesri, Tom Moose, Beta O'Burn, Daniel Valdez, Katrina Valdez, Nicolas R. Valdez, and Xiao Ching Zhang. This series is in memory of Noe Yaquat Montoya. For more information on Radical Evolution and the team, and to get in touch with us, visit RadicalEvolution.org. We hope you enjoyed the series and that you'll keep in touch on the socials and at our upcoming events. And if you did enjoy, please spread the word. Our listeners are an important part of how folks can learn about the show. Thanks, y'all. Until next time. <laughs>